Well, good morning, everyone. I'm getting ready for my morning walk. And uh, yeah, this is what I look like now. I woke up this morning and I stepped on the scale and I'm 247 pounds. So, I mean, not as bad as I've seen before in my life, but when I did my lion diet challenge and kept track of all that I ate, I got down to 220. Doing carnivore, I stayed about 230. And then when I did my beef, butter, bacon, eggs and tracked exactly what I ate, I got down to 221. So, but otherwise I stayed about 230, but now I'm 247 because I didn't give up carnivore. I just, I've been stressed, eating way too much cream, but I have added some, some whole foods back in other than the only thing that I've ate that was crazy was some sushi a few times and with the, had some rice but for some reason I just am gaining weight again and and I don't like it I'm, I need to fight back you know after doing carnivore for two years I gave myself some space and it's okay I like I don't feel bad for anything that I've ate but it I see the weight coming up and I know that I'm going, I feel like I'm going backwards and I don't like going backwards. And it's not about weight, it's about health. So when I, last time that I weighed 247 pounds, I didn't look like this. I had a lot more fat on my body than I do right now. I think what's happening is that my body is holding on to water more and with the stress and stuff like that, yeah, I need to get over this stress. It's just been busy. But I'm running a little late, so let's go for a walk. I'll talk to you about some of the things that have been going on with my wife and uh, how we're just gonna tighten things up and we're, we're, trying to get, we're trying to get her better and healed. Beautiful morning, all the humidity left and the heat has got me cranky for some reason on top of like working and that kind of stuff when it's 98 degrees and humid. Yeah, no bueno. I even went camping last weekend with five kids and I didn't even bring my camera because I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. I'm walking around, you know, with a little bit of guilt and shame as a YouTube influencer, which I never thought of myself that way or never thought of myself as a YouTube influencer. It's just, that's what I fell into and started doing. And that's what you call this, I guess. I was just documenting my story and, and it resonated with people. Well, hopefully this resonates with people because I still feel all right, but I feel like I kind of got myself in a depression. You know, my shoulder injury, just not being able to lift weights, like made a, made me pause what I was doing. And I felt like I was not moving anywhere and that was not good. I just lost my momentum and my will to do a lot of stuff. When it comes to my diet specifically, I, I can't go back to eating just like garbage foods for the most part. And when I say like, yeah, I had some sushi, I had this, like I've had some avocados here and there. When I was out camping, I had I had a couple tortillas with an, I was like, ah, whatever, I'm just throw this in a tortilla. And that's probably the closest I've been to like saying, yeah, screw it all. He's eating a couple tortillas. But it's not necessarily the tortillas, it's the mindset that worries me the most because I've kind of lost the, the will to try. I almost got hit by a garbage truck. That's not a metaphor. Hey, no, like, I like lost the will to try. Just get tired and just have stress in my life. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to minimize the stress. And some of the ways I do that sometimes is like, ah, I don't care. But that being said, I worked so hard. I don't want to take away all the hard work I've done and just find myself back where I was before. And I feel like I'm headed that way and I don't like it. We're fighting back at our house. I have been doing these walks five days a week. Mostly, I kind of stop my sprinting as much just because my heart is heavy for some reason. But what we're doing over at the Kilby Live House, currently, you know, we're still on a quest to eat better, pursue God, you know, each other, and it's, and it's a lot. It feels like a lot right now. And when it came, comes to YouTube, I've kind of shied away from it because it ends up being a lot of work. And it's like, I need to focus on fighting back at home and at my job 
that pays for me to actually survive. <laughs> Running a, your own business, there's like all these stresses and sometimes it's great and then other times it just feels like it's out of control and there's like all these policy book updates, conversations you gotta have with people about behaviors and, and like infighting and different things like that. And it is exhausting dealing all that stuff. It is literally taxing trying to manage other people and make adults treat other adults like adults and be adults and deal with your problems with people in a healthy way and people are resisting it resistant to it so because i'm i'm a business owner and a pastor and it is heavy i'm just sometimes like i know pastors shouldn't say this it's just like leave me alone fix your life leave me alone my wife if you've looked at some of her old videos is had some skin problems. Like all of a sudden she just started getting uh, patches of skin, like allergic reactions. And she did an elimination diet where she ate beef, red meat essentially for a month. And that helped, she lost some weight and then she did it again. And that really helped clear up her skin and stuff like that. And feeling, we're feeling good, feeling good. And then my wife isn't as strict as I am. She's, she's probably, more balanced than I am though, if that makes sense. I hate the word balance, but she's probably more balanced than I am. And she probably likes life better than I do because I just worry about too much. But we found out, you know, we're, we're doing this and trying to use food to heal our bodies. And then, but then she started breaking out again. And through, you know, going to the doctors, which a lot of people know is a complete pain in the butt, trying to get, they just want to medicate you. That's all they know. You know, her doctors, I think, are trying, but they, we did find out that she has a, an extreme nickel allergy. Now, you would not believe how much nickel is in stuff. It's crazy. There's nickel in everything. This is the part of the walk that it gets too loud to talk, but I always stop up here to look at the city. So if you're in Dayton, Ohio, in between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m., or 8 p.m., yeah, 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. This is where you'll find me. Don't shoot me. Look at that smoke, man. That car was smoking. I don't know about you guys. I'm totally washed out, but you'll see me here in a second. But it's like, how do I say this? If you've ever changed your lifestyle and gone on a diet, made some progress, and then you find yourself headed backwards there's like a tension in the air i can't be i can't be the only one that's weird there's like a tension in the air i could feel it like we're not moving forward we're not being truthful to ourselves we're kind of hiding in the bushes my i could see the tension on my wife's face too because she's she's uh, having these allergic reactions all over her body that trigger her to want to itch everything and then the itching makes it even worse and it's like i'm I was told my wife the other day, it's like, I feel like I'm losing my wife to this. I feel like I'm losing my wife to this. And what does that even mean? It means like she's struggling with her health and, and it's, a, it's a huge tax on her, but it's also a huge tax on our marriage and our kids and takes up brain space. So we've, you know, we've, we've worked with the doctor some. And so she's, she saw some relief with steroids, but we're also gonna, and we're cutting out all the th foods that have nickel, which are a lot. But I talked her into doing a challenge with me this July, which today's July 1st, where we eat a certain amount of protein every day and try to match that in fat. I think her number, she's five foot five. We decided with her, we're gonna try 150 grams of protein, 150 grams of fat every single day for the rest of the month. And I'm gonna do my same at 170. I'm gonna start low for me. I could probably go up to 205 max, depending on if I start feeling tired, hungry all the time, because I've done it before where I was like, eh, after a while you're like, dude, I'm hungry. But we're also doing the, uh, a couple days of a m week, a couple days a week we're gonna do the protein sparing modified fast where we're just gonna like buckle down and we'll eat the protein the day. And I'm just thinking right now, how the heck am I gonna choke down some chicken breast? Maybe I can melt some butter in a thing and it'd just be nominal. 
because yeah, dry chicken breast is no good. <sighs> Sous vide machine, make it better. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick to that for 30 days. And this has been on my mind. I'm like, we just need to do it. We need to do it. Don't need to wait to the beginning of the month to try a new challenge. But there's something in our brains that likes uh, like starting at the new year, the beginning of the month, something like that. The Bible says that God gives us new mercies every day. So that's why I'm like, no, I don't like start waiting till then because I know that every day is a new day for God to give me mercy and a redo because I need it as a human being. I don't have to wait. I'm gonna see if I can get my wife to share some of her story and some videos and kind of do my best to document this process. Here's a problem though, here's a problem. So this is a trap that I found myself getting stuck in. It's like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna go on a diet type mentality. And then tomorrow comes and then you don't. It's like, cause we make, keep making concessions like, well this, well that, well this. And all I really need to do is like button up the amount I'm consuming. I need to cut out the heavy cream. I've already been through this. I know that the heavy cream and when I add cheese to my diet, I immediately gain weight. The dairy is not good for me, but then I love it and my life feels better with it when I'm eating it, but then afterwards not. But there's this, there's this thing in me that it's like, okay, I'm gonna start this challenge and I have to do it perfectly or, you know, I'm a failure. Like we're gonna do this for 30 days here in July or four weeks, get our macros and then two days a week, only eat the protein, the tricker bodies and the, just burning a bunch of our fat, but still have the building blocks for our body. But then all of a sudden things start popping up like, it's July 4th in a few days. We're over at someone house, someone's house for a barbecue. Okay, there's that. What do we have after that? We're going to Gatlinburg for the weekend. Okay, at least there. We're staying in a timeshare and we have our own kitchen. That's nice. Well, then it's my wife's birthday after that. Okay, we're going on a leaders retreat, parenting leaders retreat with our church. Snap. There's just all these things that are like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this perfectly. Nor do I have to. That's what I'm saying. I don't have to do it perfectly. I can go to these things. I can bring my own food because I've done it before. Sometimes, you know, so you don't feel like a total oddball. I'll snack around the cheese tray or eat a, eat a sausage or a, a tube steak hot dog I think I'm funny that's not a hundred percent clean but like just put around and eat that when I go to my room I start eating my my chuck roast or whatever I have my hard-boiled eggs but we get trapped and paralyzed by perfect it's the enemy of good and I need to do good right now it doesn't need to be perfect it's too much pressure and impossible I got a hundred and fifty million thousand other little thoughts that's how my brain works they all come at once so i'm gonna try to just document this just be honest and have some accountability and i'm gonna try to do this in a way that's healthy for me and my family not robbing us of our lives and our, our time but i'm gonna just continue to try to just chip away consistently showing people what we're doing how we're living how how we're trying to change things how we're fighting back and hopefully be an encouragement, but man, we really couldn't use the encouragement. Leave a comment, tell us your stories. Oh yeah, and when it comes to comments and stuff, I'll see how I do, because I just don't have a lot of time to sit down and reply to comments all the time. And, it, and then I feel guilty for not doing it. And uh, yeah, it's stress in my life, so. Like, get off YouTube, Aaron, if it causes you stress. Well, I also like it, so I'm trying to find a healthy way to do it and a healthy way for people to feel seen when they're encouraging us because that encourages them and I overthink everything and it gets all crazy but it just let you know any message that anyone ever says this that I read and I try to read every single one of them I love it I'm thankful for it I appreciate it, it makes my heart full it inspires me and encourages me well except for that one guy don't be that guy I stopped doing all my coaching I mean no one was beating down the door, <laughs> but I feel like I failed a lot of people too. Just failed people. And yeah, that has given me sadness too. And it's not like necessarily failing them because of my behavior, it's just my time. My, I didn't have, I don't have time to do all this stuff well. I don't have the time to, 
I barely have the time to like keep up with my wife and my kids. And I'm always feeling like I'm in a deficit of attention giving and time with. And it's, it's a lot. And I know you guys know that. I know you guys all know that. Well, maybe not all of you, but some of you experience that. I'm trying to do the best I can. The other day, to end, no, don't click off yet. This is super important. The other day, my wife was like, is like, you're a good guy. I'm like, okay, well, don't feel like it. I'm all stressed. And she's like, you wouldn't care about any of this stuff if you weren't, unless I'm just a busybody. I don't, <laughs> but she's like, yeah, you don't like people that much. <laughs> you don't like drama that much. So it's not me being busy. It's me just trying to, I care and I'm trying to do what I can. All right, goodbye. Time to go lift some weights and hopefully not hurt my shoulder again.